Hello everyone and welcome to another video on this little channel. My name is Silvia and for those of you who still don't know me, I'm a freelance illustrator based in Bologna and I love children's books and everything related to them. In this video I will go through uh, the last prompts from Peachtober 2021. So we will go through the last 15 prompts of this wonderful challenge so yeah let's go prompt number 17 is jar and for jar i actually didn't know what to do so i simply drew a jar full of my favorite jam, the blueberry jam, and a little child who wants to taste it just a little bit. So this is the case when I draw traditionally something that I usually draw digitally on my iPad, so children and little scene with humans. Um, so. During this painting, I felt <laughs> some pressure <laughs> on myself. Um, I don't know if you can tell. But at the end, I'm happy with the final result. Prompt number 18, match. For this one, I didn't want to draw a match, also because I drew it um, last year for Peachtober 2020. So yeah, I wanted to express the perfect match between two chestnuts in, in their shell. And I think, I think it turned out really cute. This is one of my this is one of my favorite actually. I realized that during this challenge I really went small in details and also in the general size of the painting and I really enjoyed it. Prompt number 19 is uniform. This is one of the funniest prompt um, I drew because I didn't want to draw a school uniform or such. Um, I imagine this little child really focused on being a good pirate with his little birdie friend. <laughs> so yeah, his uniform is like a t-shirt with a school and some rotten shirts. He really, he really believes in it. He really feels he's a, he's a real pirate. And that's, that's the most important thing. The childhood imagination, which is one of my biggest um, inspiration in my illustration. So yeah, here we have our little pirate. Prompt number 20 is sound. 
and for this one guys i didn't have a clue because i really didn't know what to draw i didn't have any cool inspiration for the theme so i ended up drawing some musical notes on a pentagram i, I hope i'm i'm using the the correct technical names <laughs> i'm not a musician um yeah i i've just tried to have fun as you can see i'm just peeling some ink a different gradient let's say of ink over over the painting over the little drawing just to give it a bit of a twist <laughs> i don't know yeah this is not my my favorite one prompt number 21 is sun another day another another prompt <laughs> as you can see here i like always to look through what i what i've done all the little paintings and yeah what i've achieved so far for this theme i wanted to draw something extremely simple so actually a sun a cute one <laughs> with a little earth planet our planet saying thank you to to the sun for all the warm and the light and life because without sun we couldn't have life prompt number 22 is hurt um, so for this one I actually drew a um, hurt queen a funny one uh, because I didn't want to to draw a simple card um, but I drew two queens in the same card two different queens one very proud very elegant and the other one funnier <laughs> Um, with the with the hurt hat falling from her head. I hope you like it because I really had fun drawing this. is harvest and this is actually really basic <laughs> it's yeah just a bunch of uh, pumpkins because an uh, October harvest means pumpkins <laughs> I drew a lot of pumpkins during this month um, and I hate a lot of pumpkins during this month so I thought some pumpkins should be should be perfect for for the theme. I've colored this really really simple, um, not so much texture. Uh, I could have added something more, <laughs> I think. Um, looking at this again, but yeah, I've added some falling leaves because it's autumn, and that's it. That's it for the 23rd prompt. Prompt number 24 is bird. And for this one, I simply drew a bird. It's a robin and I love this bird. Look at, look at him, it's so fat and proud of himself. 
uh, proud of his little spot. And actually on Instagram, <laughs> many of you uh, made me notice that I actually drew Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory as a bird because my spot is an accurate quote <laughs> of the character of the series. And I'm so proud of this, even if I actually didn't didn't think about that so thank you guys for letting me know this this <laughs> prompt number 25 is water this one <laughs> It's really the simplicity. <laughs> I drew a glass of water, all full, uh, because I always try to see things happening in my life in a positive way. I'm not able to do that for all the events in my life, but I'll try. That's, it's a philosophy that I, I would like to, to pursue. <laughs> for my entire life. I know it's difficult, but I thought um, a little glass half full would be a nice reminder. Sixth prompt is bottle and with water is kind of perfect because I drew bottles <laughs> so original um, but this time a really tall bottle among a lot of uh, little bottles jars and such and this bottle is really tall and she's aware of it and I think she can be proud of it. I, I really enjoyed drawing all the expressions on, the, on these little faces. I, I love drawing this kind of expression, which is somehow grumpy, somehow puzzled or confused. Number 27 is spade and this one guys this one was really difficult because I really didn't have any idea um, about a clever illustration I could draw and so I ended up drawing a little potted plant with a spade near to it and the plant as you can see is a bit worried about the spade but the spade is there to reassure her that he's a friend and he won't hurt her so he ended up to be really cute at least even if it's not my my favorite prompt is submarine and this is one of the funniest um, illustration I drew for the wool challenge because I had this idea of a little submarine in the water of course <laughs> uh, looking for some fishes but the light coming from the submarine actually doesn't find any fish just because fishes are all around uh, but on the light looking and observing uh, very carefully this weird metallic creature of the seas which is the submarine The 
29th prompt is Beetle. This, this has been almost a torture for me, because even if I wrote, we are just Beetles, for me they are not. I'm, I'm really scared of Beetles, I don't know why, um, but that, that's the reality, and I can get completely crazy if I find a Beetle in my house. So I forced myself to draw and paint some nice-ish beetles with some cute patterns and designs over them, uh, but yeah, I struggled, I struggled a lot with them. Second to last prompt, orange. And since I drew and paint only with ink, black ink, as you may already have noticed <laughs> at this point of the challenge, I decided to draw oranges. But since I couldn't actually color them with orange, I decided to add a little sentence saying, guess the color. Clever. This has been a really a really simple illustration because the shapes uh, were always the same and so I tried to um, add some interesting texture with with ink and water. That's it for orange. The last prompt of the challenge is cat and I think it's the perfect theme to end this beautiful challenge for October 2021. I drew a cat, a black cat, into a pumpkin because why not? Uh, I've already told you um, my obsession with pumpkins so why not? This little cat was um, looking for a box, as all the cats in the world, but instead he found a little pumpkin. If it fits, it sits. Those are the final touches of this last prompt, and it's done. Here we are at the end of this video, at the end of this really nice challenge, the Peachtober 2021 challenge. It has been strong, it has been funny and it has been a commitment because every year I try to be consistent with all the prompts because at the end Honestly, I'm a control freak. So if I start something, I have to finish it. I have to reach the end and complete every single steps and tasks. So here I am uh, completing this uh, challenge for the second year in a row. I'm extremely proud, I have to be honest, um, of myself and the little illustrations I made. Some of them uh, will be selected to be framed <laughs> together. If you have some favorites, please let me know in the comments because it will be hard to choose some of them. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little series of videos. It has been a pleasure for me to bring you 
through the painting processes of this of this challenge. I think it's time to say goodbye and see you in the next video. Bye!